Hey, what's going on guys? Randy with Tux Detailing in uh, Missouri, St. Louis. Today is uh, another vlog, my second vlog for the channel. I'm headed, I got a couple appointments today. I'm headed to a customer's house right now. Um, I'll let you guys just kind of watch me how, how I go about my whole day. Uh, I've got a couple, couple clients getting a special. Um, running a special right now since uh, the world's kind of opening back up from the COVID pandemic. So I'm running a couple specials. So I got a couple clients lined up for a special. And then I got a couple details here and there. And uh, you guys get to see me how I work. I'm not too sure if I could bring you guys in kind of close. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to put my customers on the spot, but I'll try to get you guys close in to see how I kind of talk to them and you know kind of how I work my magic. If not, I'll kind of get you like a, a, a uh, like a, a view of me talking to them, walking around the car, and seeing what their specific needs and wants are. If I said that word right, and that's how we'll do it. So here we go. Okay, so we just got here. Um, got to do this Range Rover right here, and then I got that Jag right there. We might have an S class come up. I'm not too sure, but you got you guys will get to see all of this. So so here we go. We're gonna start um, by washing this Range Rover. We got a little um, buffing and polishing to do on the hood, and then on the Jag over here. Um, I already detailed that uh, like last week, so it's just like a basic wash and a little spray down of the engine. It's a ton of those little fuzzy white things flying around here in the air. I don't know how this will go, but it should go good. Here we go.
right guys we just finished this up got this thing looking good threw the tire shine on there still got uh some parts to buff he wants us to buff this little scratch out you can see right here oh there's another scratch along here got this all shined up looking good we also threw some shiner on the floor mats we just like to go the extra mile you know i could have just because this is one of this is just a uh, a regular wash it's not my uh top top mosh so i could have not did it but you know we just like to go the extra mile yep that, that keeps a, going the extra mile keeps the customers calling back like oh man but you can see tire shines on there. It's not super, super shiny. I know some people like super shiny uh, tire shine. I personally do. I love it. You can see the shine we put on there is real nice. You can see the shine we threw on the leather also. You know, just, just a little extra mile. Not too much. It looks like I really like actually got in here and fully detailed it but I actually didn't it was pretty clean to begin with you know but I had to throw that little touch on there but now we're about to go get started on this one right here Finish this bad boy up. Whew. 
It don't get no better than that. <laughs> These were super dull before I got here. Wax on the top. Watermarks removed. And then engine bay. Check that out, guys. That's how it's done. That's how it's done right there, brand new. You would have thought so. This is 2017. First detail by this owner. Yep. All signed up, ready to go. Shined up, cleaned up. All right, so now I gotta wrap this kind of up. It's getting a little hot out here. Had to move a little fast, but I gotta wrap this bad boy up. Knocked out that one in this Range Rover right here. And uh, I'm about to go holler at the customer, get the payments, and then I'll be on my way to my next location. Stay tuned. Okay, we're here at the next location. It's actually in a parking lot. He's um, doing a couple field workouts, but I totally forgot to get you guys a, um, a view of this car before I actually started working on it. So I was like, damn. So, but just check out these floor mats right here. Um, these were super dirty. They were muddy as hell. And now they're back to brand new. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. But um, this is kind of like what I'm working with today. Let me show you guys. It was super muddy. Um, as you can tell right here, some hair, some dirt. Seats are just, you know, stale, got crumbs, dog hair. Doors a little, you know, fingerprints everywhere. It's just dirty. And what I'm about to do to this is just a, uh, this is just going to be a special, one of my specials that I'm offering. So I'm not doing any, any exterior work. I'm just doing interior, but it's, it's going to look like a full interior detail, but I can assure you it's not. But to you guys, it's definitely going to look like it because I kind of like to go the extra mile on it. So I'm about to show you guys how we do it right here. See the interior seats and you know the dash, the center console. That all looks pretty good. I mean, you guys saw how it was earlier, but I mean, it's all wiped down now. And just with the wipe down, is you know some all-purpose cleaner. I've gotten it to look way better than it was actually before. You know. Now the next step is to just clean up these carpets a little bit not go too too hard on it but you know get some good spots gotta blow out this side one more time and then um, I'll show you guys some uh, more footage <laughs> I 
obviously not the outside. But let all that smoke clear out. The smoke is coming from the uh, the shine I use. Kind of like a little bomb, I guess you could say. Leaves a good smell, like a cherry bomb smell. Now this looks like a full detail, doesn't it? <laughs> I told you guys, man. I try to I try to throw a little, oh, go to a little extra mile my clients with it all but this looks like a inside of a brand new car and this is just a special with a little bit of some stuff I um, use for the interior wipe down that's why it looks so shiny but I just like to go the extra mile clean their all weather mats I, um, that's really not in the in, uh, in the you know, the price or the quote that I gave them, but you know, go the extra mile. But there you have it. I'm all done. That's gonna conclude the day for your boy. Got everything packed up back there. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ass to a nice home cook connected your phone and is reminding you that 911 assist is set to off all right 